In this video, we are going to look at this section. Identify the correct syntax for workflow jobs. Indentation and encapsulation of parts of the workflow. Now we have been looking at this in the previous section, but let's take a look at this again. Now I'm going to use our Node.js Hello World application for this. And now let's write a workflow for this. So I am in this repository and let's add a file, create a new file. We are going to add our workflow file. So we know where it's located inside dot GitHub folder. We have workflows inside which let's create a file called main.yaml. I'm going to commit this branch or commit this file. So now we have our file called main.yaml. So let's edit this file. So let's name our workflow Node.js CI. And the event will be on push. So whenever there is a push event, this workflow will be triggered. Now let's write our jobs. Now, when we say, when we provide this jobs key, it means that it will start the jobs encapsulation. And within that, we have different jobs. So let's say we have a job called build, where we are going to build this Node.js Node application. So this means that now we are going to start the build job encapsulation. So within this, we have our runs on and we are going to use Ubuntu. And then we have our steps. So here we will start our steps encapsulation. So we are gonna start the steps encapsulation within build job and let's name our step check out code which uses an action called actions check out v4 so first of all we are going to check out our code now let's set up node.js which again uses another action, which is node v4. Also, one thing is we want to specify the node version. So let's just say node version 14. After that, let's install the node dependencies, which will be npm ci this is a standard node command and then let's build the project so the run command would be npm run build so at this point we can say that all our steps are completed for this job so i'll do end of steps encapsulation within build job and over here this job is completed or we are completed writing this build job so i'm going to say as a comment end of build job encapsulation so that's the build part now let's write the test part so now let's write a test job so for the test, so here we are going to write a comment. Start of test job encapsulation. Now the test job needs build. So before we even run tests, we need to run the build job. So that's why we have to specify the needs dependency. And then again, the runs on. 
we are going to say Ubuntu latest and now the steps so this would be start of the steps encapsulation so I'm going to say start of steps within test job and then we have our steps so at the actual steps the name would be checkout core uses actions checkout v4 so we're going to check out the core we are again we're going to set up node.js which uses actions set up node.js again with node version 14 we are again going to install dependencies and now we are going to run the test so i'm going to give name as run test and npm test so this is the end of steps encapsulation within test job and then we have the end of encapsulation for test job and then we have end of job encapsulation which actually is the end of all the jobs which should be here and the test job and encapsulation so now we have written our job so i'm going to just commit the changes and i'm going to directly commit to the main branch don't do that in actual production environment so now we have pushed our changes now let's check our actions and see what's going on over there so it's running the build step and the test step is dependent on the build step but build step has failed so let's check so i came back and fixed the error we were missing the install step so i added the npm install step both here at the build job and at the test job so now when we actually run our workflow it should run both the build and the test steps so i'm going to make a edit over here to trigger a workflow and then i'm going to commit the changes so now we have our workflow with two jobs the build job and the test job and it has all the steps so we are going to build at the end and then test in the test job and now let's see our action and you can see the action is running over here again the build job is running and it ran successfully and it ran the build step as well and all the steps that we had specified now over here if we click on the left we have the tests running as well the test job so first it's running the install and then now it also ran the test step so now we have successfully ran our workflow and we have also understood some of the basic syntax of a workflow and what an encapsulation means inside a github actions workflow